Hey everybody, I got another comic book review for you today. So this is Venom, Lethal Protector, number four. Another Wicked cover. So this is just the regular cover. This is not a variant, so. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so in this one, remember, somebody's put a bounty on Venom's head. So there's all kinds of people coming out of the woodwork trying to collect the money. Alrighty here. I got a bit of light glare. Alrighty. So, Venom, New York newsmaker, went on a TV show. Call us Venom. So, he went on a TV show. He's talking to a woman named Charlene here. But he's in one room. And she's in the other. Because her insurance provider insisted that they be separated. So, she's like, this, this guy's here. Get to the point. We don't know much how much time you have. So, she said... You wanted to come on TV because you have some announcement to make. And Venom's like, yes, Charlene. I said, we decided to appear at noon at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Where we will, where we will proceed to offer ourselves up as a target. He says, he says um... You see, lately we've been subject to unprovoked attacks and are only recently learning that there's a bounty been placed on our heads. So we'd rather get it, you know, rather, so you'd rather get it over with than standing around waiting for somebody to attack him. So he's going to go to the stadium and they want to fight him. They just show up. <laughs> the cops are coming in to bust up the interview. The cops come in and bust up the interview. Right there. So Venom gets out of there. So he got out of there. And uh, so that's his plan to meet them head on at the stadium. So this is somewhere else, Upper Manhattan. Mr. Sticks. So that's Mr. Sticks. And um, I'm not sure who this guy is. So I guess this guy can't. Oh, Stone. A stone. So this guy can kill people by touching them. Because he's. Touching all the plants and kill all the plants, right? So these two are going to go after um, Venom, but they want to get him before he gets to the stadium. So they're plotting. They're plotting on getting Venom. So Venom is on his way to the Bronx. To the stadium, I guess you could say. And he comes across these two getting attacked by a mugger. And then the mugger stabs him. Stabs his kid. And Venom catches the guy that did it. Or, well, kills the guy that did it. She's like, he's dead, he's dead. His, his misplaced bravado killed him. No, it wasn't his bravado. He died because he loved me. <laughs> that kid's dead. Okay. <laughs> now, this guy who's been in the first two, his two partners already were killed by Venom. So then... Um, he went and did that online job thing on the dark web. So he is in the Caribbean training with other guys here. 
So this is Death Shield. And who is the guy with the blades? What's his name? Oh, Stiletto. Isn't this guy's name is Stiletto, apparently. And this guy's name is Taskmaster? Ta Taskmaster. So they're training. Um, so they're training. Maybe they're going to go up against Venom later. But, um. So those two goons are training. Now Venom wants to go check on Annie. And you were just stopping by to see how you're doing. Doing? How do you think I'm doing? Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> like, come on. Her fiance was a bad guy. Oh. Um, oh, reflection. I just got a call from Alan. Remember? You remember Alan, don't you? My ex fiance is gone from my life forever. He's like, what do you, you realize he was a bad man, but she's just like, she's mad because, um, he probably should have talked to her first before he tortured her ex boyfriend well, ex-fiance. All I wanted to, yes, protect me, but Annie wants to be able to make her own decisions and protect herself. So, she's just, she's just upset. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> so, Venom. He's swinging through the city here, and he gets attacked again. There it is, these two. Sticks and stones. They come to collect the bounty. So, they get in a fight with Venom. Cause a mess at the construction scene. So yeah, whatever he touches, he dies. So he thought he could slam his, hand, his face into his hand in his own face and kill him, but I guess it doesn't work that way. If this would work, I would have done myself in the ages ago. So he's smashed him up. Then Stone here, trying to use some adhesive gel to stick Venom down. <laughs> and the gas spots. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> so Venom smashes him up. Pushes him up, puts him through a crate. Like these bad guys are sending to get venom aren't very, very good. Roll bro, yeah, make him more unconscious. Okay, so this sticks guy, he gets sticks hands, and he says, "Well, how about this? You tell me who's." in charge or you're gonna kill your friend here by shoving his hands on his friend's face he my friend my only friend so yeah I'll tell you what you want to know so his six told him the name and the name of the guy is Justin Hammer who, just who of Bloody Blazes is Justin Hammer? He's the one that's been sending all these guys against Venom. Um, there is Mr. Hammer, this old scrawny dude sitting in the sauna. He says, Venom knows. He knows your name. He's making inquiries. We always knew this. that was a possibility. 
But Venom is said to be considerably dangerous. What shall we do if he comes knocking at the door? Why we do what any civilized person would, would do when company, co company comes calling? We invite the gentleman in. And it's to be continued. Okay, so this is the dude. That, this is the guy that's running the show that's setting all the stuff guys against Venom. They're not very strong enemies, but those are the ones that are coming against Venom. So, that is Venom number four. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of this one. And we'll see you later. And we'll see you later for Venom number five.